<laughs> I wonder who it is. Why, Aunt Phoebe, you look an absolute fright. Tara, be a dear and watch the triplets for me so I can have my hair done. Babysit? Why, I'd love to. You can bring them right on over to the teen club now. Well, how wonderful. I'll be there in two shakes. What do you do to think of my banana split creation? Too below, so no? Well, it needs a tad more whipped cream. Someone really has to teach these robots the meaning of the word Ted. Hi, y'all! Hi, hey, Tara! Hi, huh? Tara! Ma, that looks simply mouth-watering! We'd ask you to join us, but we only ordered a small one. Oh, I don't have time for a snack. I'm going to babysit for my triplet nephews. Y'all want to help out? Forget it! Children are hazardous to makeovers and manicures. I never get near them. Nullify this, dude. I've got tryouts for today's surfing competition. And I'm about to complete my latest invention. A life transformation machine. Hmm. That old excuse. What about you, Piss? I'm afraid my social calendar is much too full. I'll help you with this babysitting gig, Tara. Why, thank you, Jan. Hey, no biggie. Like, I really groove with kids. I dig where they're coming from. Personally, I'm more interested in where they're going, and how soon. I'll help babysit, too. Chanel, are you sure you can handle a bunch of demanding, immature kids who are all wrapped up in themselves? Hey, I've had lots of practice. I once went out with Pierce. Ma, I hope these few things are enough to keep the little angels occupied. Aunt Phoebe! <laughs> oh, they're the cutest things I've ever seen. Really? Mondo Precioso! Let's see now. He's Lara, he's Barry, and he's Harry. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Then he's Barry, he's Larry, and he's Harry. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. Don't feel bad, dear. I can't tell them apart either. <laughs> I'd better go get my hair done. Monsieur Pierre gets so upset when I'm late. <laughs> the babies won't be a bit of trouble. I'm sure they'll sleep the whole time I'm gone. Ta-ta! Ta-ta! <laughs> <laughs> What you're saying. Speaking of digging, that's what we'd better start doing. You. Huh? I found it. Time for a nap, sleepy heads. My, don't they look like little angels? For sure! I do believe we ought to give the little darlings their bottles now. They've been napping for quite a while. The poor things were tired. Wake up! Time for some Milky Wilky! Girls, I've 
say we have a little problem. I'd say we have three little problems. I'd say our problem is we don't have three little problems. Now, girls, the important thing is not to get all in a tizzy. Right, definitely no tizzing. Gotta get the old bod warmed up if I want to surf off of that solid gold trophy. All right! Time to hit the surf! A humongous curl! Hey, little dude, better hang on. You must be one of Tara's nephews. Want a barrel a few more? Goo-goo-gaga. Goo-goo-gaga? That must be a line for go for it. I'm planning to dine at a new French restaurant tonight, and I hate dining alone. Tough tenderloin. Did I happen to mention that this French restaurant is in Paris? Oh, I couldn't care less. Don't you just love it when they pretend not to care? Ooh, you are so adorable! Hear that? The old charm is finally kicking in. Come to me, you little darling. I'm practically there, my precious. Ooh, hey, fella, I hit on her first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did Mino Pierce frighten you? Bibi will make you all better. <laughs> I can see I'm wasting my time. She obviously prefers younger men. I can't wait till he gets his teeth. Me too. So I can knock them out. Yoo-hoo! Barry! Larry! Harry! Like, it is so weird the way they just wigged out on us. They've got to be around here somewhere. Look! There goes one of them now! <laughs> got him! One down and two to go. Girls, I think this job is bigger than the three of us. Maybe Chester can help us. He's got all kinds of weirdo inventions. Marvioso notion! Let's go to his lab. Yoo-hoo, Chester! Chester, where are you? Forget it. He's split city. I'll leave him a note asking him to meet us back at the teen club. Let's head back to the club. Girls, aren't you forgetting something? Or rather, someone? Oh my goodness! The baby! Don't you have him, Chanel? I thought Chuck was holding him. No way! I thought Tara had him. He's got to be here somewhere. Larry? Barry? Harry? Come out, come out, whoever you are! What's that? What kind of strangeoid gizmo is that? It must be that life transference machine Chester was talking about. You poor baby! That nasty old machine zapped you and turned you into a... into a... a Tara! into a pig! Oh dear, what's wrong? I think I know. Oh man, look at this little guy pork out! Bad. There, that ought to make him feel at home. We'd better find Chester and turn you back into a baby before Aunt Phoebe returns. 
And we still have to find his twin brothers, too. Look at the bright side. At least now we can tell them apart. Time to check on my life transference experiment. The moment of truth is at hand. I've done it! It's a major milestone in genetic transmogrification. And what a healthy little specimen it is. <laughs> and what a cranky specimen, too. You were a lot more cuddly when you were a pig. Uh, would you like another bottle? A security blanket? A mud bath? Suntan lotion specially flown in daily from Hawaii. You want to try some, Nikki? Has anyone here seen Chester? It's really important that we find him. Chester? I think he went back to his Frankenstein lab. Yeek! Get this horrid beast away from me! He is not a horrid beast! He happens to be my nephew! Uh, I can see the family resemblance! Shoo! Scat! He's climbing up the slide! Oh dear! I don't think he can swim! Don't swat it! The way he's built, he'll never sink! Phoebe gave him lessons. Tiz, you must help us get him. I'd love to get him. <laughs> Tara? I can't stop and chat right now, Aunt Phoebe. I'm chasing one of the triplets. One of the triplets? Didn't I just see a pig run by? Uh, did I say triplet? Why are you back so soon, Aunt Phoebe? Monsieur Pierre already did my hair. Isn't it divine? My lands! It certainly looks like he gave you a rush job. Why, whatever do you mean? I wonder what Monsieur Pierre was thinking. Fixing up your hair that way doesn't look good on such a beautiful lady. Really, Aunt Phoebe, you can't be serious. You don't want anyone to see you like this, do you? Why, you're right. It's an absolute disgrace. Now you march right back there and make him do it properly. I most certainly will. I intend giving that Monsieur Pierre a piece of my mind in two different languages. Ooh, talk about your close calls. My goodness! Chester, where did you find my nephew? Before that, could you get off of me? Near my laboratory cage. That's why I thought the life transference experiment had worked. Then this really is a pig. And by process of elimination, this really must be a baby. But we're still missing the other two triplets. Hey, Tara, you never told me your little nephew was such a goofy footin' dude. My nephew? You mean you've seen him? Seen him? Man, the little guy was my partner in the surfing contest. The surfing contest? He's 
truly awesome on the backside. Thanks to him, we won first prize. Gaga, dude. Mucho Gaga. Right on. Congratulations, you rascal. Let me give you a great big kiss. How so? I'm stoked. I didn't mean you. I meant him. Does this mean I don't get a kiss? Well, maybe just a little one for bringing my nephew back safe and sound. Dino Tune! Well, two down and one to go. Maybe we ought to quit while we're ahead. Two out of three ain't bad. Look who I've got! Barry! Uh -uh. Larry! Uh -uh. Harry! Uh -huh. He's such a little cutie pie, I'd love to babysit for him sometime. What a coincidence. You mean you love babysitting as much as I do? I cannot believe it. You know something? What? Neither can I. <laughs> There has got to be an easier way to get a date. Why, Pierce, you actually do love children. Oh, yes. I just adore the little brat. Bundles of energy. Good job! 